I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for Taurus in Gemini season. Hello my Tauruses, how are you? Well, you know when I'm doing the long readings and this is a long reading, I use my four decks. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards to kind of fill in. Then I ask for some words of advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards, and then we finish with the Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. Yes, things are opening up. Not to say that everything will be totally opened. Um, you know, don't know if that'll be where you live or not. But things are opening, but not for everyone, not totally. So, you know, we're getting through this all together. But Gemini does begin. Gemini begins like, a, like on the 20th, 21st. This year it's going to be more the 20th of May. The thing about Gemini, though, is Gemini energy doesn't like to have, doesn't like to be fenced in does not like boundaries. So just expect that to be pushing more so, pushing energy. Now, the 22nd of May is the new moon in Gemini. Full moon, I'm sorry, yeah, full moon to new moon, it gets smaller, you release. New moon to full moon, it gets bigger, you request. That brings us to June 5th when we have our full moon. And that full moon is going to be in Sagittarius. Now, a couple of things about this. Now, that's going to be, like I said, the 5th at 3.12 p.m. Eastern Time. But Sagittarius is adventurous. It's energetic. It's free-spirited. It likes to party a little bit more. So can you imagine between Gemini energy and Sagittarius energy? Things are going to be, you know, things phew, trying to clear things out. Okay, then we come back to June 20th where we have our cancer season beginning June 20th at 3.43 p.m. Also starts summer solstice, the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, the shortest day of the year in the Southern Hemisphere. So lots of interesting energy going on, and there's some retrogrades going on too, so things could slow up a little bit. Not Mercury, though. Anyway, I am an intuitive channeler. What that means is I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it does. Three cards are face down. The second and third are reversed. Strong energy. So let's see what's happening for my Tauruses in Gemini season. Here we go. First card is the King of Water. Okay, water energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, fluid emotional energy. You embrace this time, okay? Not, you know, I, I was having a little hard time with the earth energies per se, but you are embracing this. You are trusting this. You are wanting this. You are ready for this, my Tauruses. And I'm not, again, I'm not saying everybody's opening up and we are definitely not going back to what the old normal is. This is a new normal. So we had a couple of stages. We had the old normal, we had what became normal, and now we're entering into new normal. But you are so ready for this. You have this emotional pull. You know, <clears throat> whether this be whatever hemisphere you're in, you want to get out. I kind of feel like my Taurus is you just like throwing your head back and saying, oh, please, sunshine. Even if it's only for a little bit of the, the day, sunshine. You know, if you're in the southern hemisphere, I, I, need to, I need to have my sunshine. I need to have my sunshine. So you embrace these changes and you start to actually, because your career, things, you know, there's so many of you that have been so focused on, on um, I don't want to say getting ahead because that's really not what it is. You've been so focused on your passion. You will use this time to energize that part of you or energize that piece, okay? That piece. Okay, so anyway. King of Water is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. You, like I said, you embrace this time, and it's like no, you've got you know you've got you've done you, you know you've been so you're so ready for this. Even if they only open you up a little bit, you're you're like okay, you know maybe I can go to the coffee shop. <laughs> maybe I can do you know you embrace it. You're going to be smart. You're going to do what's right. You're going to still do, you know, be smart about it. But you embrace this. Okay. 
this works well for you. And actually, I really like the fact that Gemini energy is, you know, <clears throat> you're, you're not trying to fight the Gemini energy, okay? You're not trying to fight the Sagittarius energy. You're going with it. And that's kind of interesting for you, my Tauruses. Next card, this one's reversed. Here we go. The Page of Water. Okay, face down, okay? And, and this is, again, that same energy, but the page is impulsive. The page is like, yes, let me out of here. Let me go and do this. Oh, my gosh. You know, I now, because I am, I am now outside, and I'm not saying that you're going to be, you know, you, it's, not, it's not that it's because you're outside, but it, I feel like you feel that there's so much of a freedom now, even if it's only a little bit. And it's like, now I can start, again, whatever my passion is, uh, now I can start making things work again, okay? Even if it means you just going back into your house and getting on your computer, it invigorates you. This Gemini energy with the Sagittarius full moon invigorates you, okay? So intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. And, you know, remember, always with that full moon, you know, that, that does. The moon affects us all in mysterious ways. Okay, your last card, again, reversed. Here we are. The two of water. So this is about, you know, so there's another emotional energy here. Um, this is all about you embracing. Again, this is embracing. Okay, so this could also be any of those three relationships, too. It could be that work, job, career. It could also be that, you know, that intimate that personal, interpersonal, it could be something to do with family too. But this is very emotional. This is more that, you know, embracing, embracing the changes, embracing, you know, you, 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 you want to get out there. You want to be with people. Maybe there is also that time for you, my Taurus, is to be with that special person, that special person that distance has kept you from. Okay. Anyway, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the powerful resolution of a conflict. So there are things that could actually, because of what happened, because of what happened, and if you had to have, if you were in a conflict with anyone, you know, maybe you broke up with somebody, and, you know, because of this, maybe you were able to reach out to each other um, in more, you know, through social media, through more talking to each other. So during this past time, and now it's like you can see each other. And because of the talking, because of the conversation, you learned about each other in a different way. So now you can come together. So this is really, my Taurus is, I'm really happy because, you know, I did Virgo and, and um, Capricorn. And I was like, oh, my Taurus is like, you know, I want really good stuff for you. But it looks like you embrace this change. You embrace this relationship. And again, any of those three. But it also feels like you are making reconnect, you are reconnecting with possibly an old relationship, with possibly an old, um, an old love. And you know I don't go down there too often. Okay. Anyway, let's go on. So you, you, this is really good for you. I love this for my Tauruses. Okay. <clears throat> Card is falling down off of my hand. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on now. One, two, three. I don't know why I had to say that. Here we go. Okay, one card fell out. It slid down my hand. Let's see my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. First card up, light. Okay. And again, I'm not saying everything opens up, but for you, my Tauruses, there is some light. You are seeing the light. You are seeing the hope. You are embracing this energy in itself. Okay, the energy, you can almost taste it. You can almost feel it. Next card up. Wow, reversed. So, like I said, that passion that you've been wanting, I feel very, I very fear, feel very strong passion. That passion, whether this is with your job, that job, career, work, um, or that intimate personal relationship, it's like there's a, it's, it comes back in a stronger way. So whatever this separation was, now, now things are moving and they're moving in a better, stronger, actually I'm feeling a firmer foundation also. I'm feeling firm foundation. Here we go. This is recognition and reward. Here we go. Last card up. Okay. Reversed. And you know what this card is? This is the wish card. 
the wish card, fulfillment of wishes. So yeah, Gemini energy for you, especially with that that full moon in Sagittarius, it's it's you know it's lighting your fire. It, it's bringing you things you've been wanting, okay, or it's getting you set up for that. So with you know with that full moon, put it out there. Put out there what it is you've been wanting, what your passions are, because this energy. For you, seems to like it's going to be a really strong, positive one. Keep thoughts, words, positive. Reach out to your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is to you, reach out. Because this seems really, my um, <clears throat> my Taurus is, I, I'm loving this energy for you. I'm loving this energy. So, do you need that new job? Do you need that new um Exposure. I don't know who need you, you need that new exposure, you know, that rewards and recognition. Exposure. But it's positive exposure. Okay? Okay. My um Osha Zen tarot cards, words of advice. First card, this one fell through. Fell out, I should say. It is face up, but it is reversed. Go with the flow. Let things happen. So again, you have that water energy with this too. Go with the flow. Emotional. Let things happen. You don't have to put you don't have to worry so much. You don't have to manipulate. You don't have to. I'm not saying that you don't act. You know, we all have to do some action. If it's, if you're looking for a job, get your resume out there. But then let it go. Let it go. Okay. Next card up. Breakthrough. I love this. This is, you know, this is one of those cards that reminds me of, you know, this is this is like, you know, running the race and breaking through you know, breaking through the, the winner's tape type of thing. This is wonderful. Be ready for your breakthrough. Be ready for things to just, ex to, I don't want to say explode in a negative way, to just go whew, for you. Embrace that. Okay, last card up. Intensity. Be focused. Go for what you're looking to do. I know you have to go with the flow. Let it, things happen per se. But keep keep your eye on it, and don't be don't be alarmed when things start moving faster for you. Okay, okay. So yeah, I, I'm you know that two of water keeps pulling at me too. The page of water and the two of water, and those are you know the relationship energies with that is really strong, really strong. So you know, it, and it almost feels like it's it, it's. It's like things that were stopped for you when all this when all this noise started happening, things that were stopped, it's like things just restart. Okay? It's like it restarts again. It was like it was frozen in time. And then, you know, like one of those one of those TVs when people step outside of time and you know, TV shows or movies and they stop out and they're looking at each other, everybody and then they go back into their place and things just start up again for you. But again, we have a new normal. We have a new normal. <clears throat> okay, let's go on. Last deck. One, two, and three. Face down, first and third, reversed. Here we go. For my Tauruses, here we go. The high priestess, intuition, strong energy with that. So that full moon, we had a couple of the, um, you know, the, the pages, the the water energy talking about your intuition. So this is where you any and this is where you have to be a little careful with this. Okay, be a little careful with this, my Tauruses. Remember intuition versus wishful thinking. Okay, connect with your higher power. Um, Archangel Heniel, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation. You really do well. You do well when you ground yourself. You do well when you sit and you just kind of let this go, you know, let this just kind of flow through you. You really do. Um, meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Remember, go with the flow. Next card, seven of Ariel, your energy. Um, you know, earth energy, yours, Virgo, Capricorn energy, um, money energy, seeds well planted. You've done what you needed to do. You've done the job. Let things happen now. You've invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. And your last card, reversed again. Here we go. The Queen of Raphael. So here you have another water energy, okay? And remember, too, 
this is a water energy also. So here, you know, this is another emotional type of energy. So this is kind, understanding, giving, psychic. You've got a lot of psychic um, energy. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. <laughs> okay, anyway, I do like this. So you are going to do well with Gemini energy. You will do well also with the Sagittarius full moon. It's going to invigorate you. <clears throat> and things that were frozen are unfro you know there it's like things that were like stopped things are going to move forward for you too i like this i'm not saying no i'm not saying everything opens up i'm not saying that but things do open up a little bit more okay so enjoy this let's claim this one for my tauruses anyway my tauruses you know what to do if you enjoyed my reading you know thumbs up as always my tauruses know that you are loved stay safe and be blessed Bye-bye.